Hey, I'm Emma Garlett, and on today's episode of Paint It Black, I'll be talking about the history and importance of storytelling for Indigenous people. I'll also mention an opportunity you have to share your own story in the inaugural First Nations Storytelling Prize, a part of the West Australian's Best Australian Yarn Competition. Join me as I paint it black. First Nations Australians have a rich history of oral storytelling. The way we passed down our knowledge and history was through stories. There were no textbooks, no computers or internet, only words. And our elders were so important in passing down that knowledge to younger generations. Some of these stories have been passed down from generation to generation for thousands of years. Telling stories has always been central to Indigenous people. These tales were used in a myriad of ways to educate, provide strength and pass down spiritual beliefs. The purpose behind it was there, sometimes in clear and plain sight, to warn of present dangers, for example. Other times, the lesson was buried, and it was open for you to interpret and apply to your situation. Stories have impact. We remember them long after they were told. We as humans have evolved a special ability of language to tell stories. The whole of history of humanity is remembered through stories. From Homer to Shakespeare and for Indigenous people, some of these stories are literally written in the stars. These days, storytelling still holds its place in passing down wisdom to the young and the experience of the young to the old are also shared. It may be through crouching around a fire to spin a yarn if you are out bush or have a fire pit, or it might be by sitting around the kitchen table with a cuppa in hand. Storytelling extends to the language used to tell it. Many Indigenous languages were originally oral languages and were not written. And the way I tell a story will be different to that of my aunties, nana or cousins. It is what makes storytelling unique. A good story is one which we resonate with. Those stories which trigger something in our own life and push us to perhaps shed a tear. The shared human experience pulls at our heartstrings and the experience and perspective of Indigenous people must be shared with a wider audience. Through sharing stories, we can break down walls. The positionality of writers influences the way in which stories are told. The lens the writer looks through shapes the words and views of the storyline coming to life. Indigenous storytelling is vital and we need to tell our own stories through our eyes. This year, for the first time, Indigenous storytellers from all over the country will have the chance to tell their stories to a national audience at the Centre for Stories in Northbridge. The West Australian has launched the Best Australian Yarn Competition for 2023. This year, the competition features the inaugural First Nations Storytelling Prize. The prize is open to Indigenous Australian writers from across Australia, and the prize winner will receive $3,000. The winner is also eligible to receive the overall Best Australian Yarn Prize of $50,000. I'm thrilled to be involved as both an ambassador and judge of the First Nations Storytelling Prize. If you feel you have a story you want to share, I encourage you to write it. Your story doesn't have to be long, just 1,000 to 2,500 words. Anyone can enter, published and unpublished writers, students, anyone over the age of 12. You can enter your story at the link on your screen now, and I'll put the details of how you can enter in the description. Good luck, and I can't wait to read the stories from the next generation of Indigenous storytellers. Thanks for watching Paint It Black with me, Emma Garlett. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Have a good one. <music>